Well, uh, Kiba, let's. How about you do the the first line? Okay. Uh, not met, not to, or kun. Thank you, thank you. Kun no, thank you. No, not to, or kun no, thank you. Try not to. No, no, po. Po kun. No po kun. No po kun no, thank you. Hi. No po kun steady steady. Hi hi hi. So this ne. I kind of feel like thank you is more on like that research side of research, study, yeah. but like yeah. it's it, it's related to study. I think like studying is like correct, but I just thought point that out. Eto um Celine, one guess you must. Nani ga kaite aru no kakite ru no. You read this part a little bit weird. Wait, wait, like I think you just didn't read this part. Uh <laughs> It's like it's like kite, but it's like kite, so it's like sounds weird to me. <laughs> Gotta do it long. <laughs> oh, kite, kite. <laughs> uh, what are you reading? Mm, so this this no pukun over here is actually I guess you could say is the start of this. So like no pukun, so that's like kind of like the subject I guess. Nani ga kaite aru no ka kiitte no? So, kiteru, like the kiku, um, is a lot like this, but a lot of times it uses um, this kanji instead. And it's kind of like to ask a question. So, nopo kun wa yomo koto ga dekiru kana, chotto shirenai desu ne. Can you read? Ma, akun ga yomo koto ga dekiru. Demo, nopo kun wa, ah, kore wa moshiroi so. So, this, so, akun asks a rhetorical question of, nane ga kaite raru no ka? Kiite ru no? It's kind of like, it's like asking the question that no pun has, kind of. So, Celine, what does nani ga kaite mean? Uh, what? Written? Hi. Same with the adu, that's just like uh, the existence of what is written. How about the ka right here? From? So this ka is actually a is the embedded question ka. And the reason why there's a no here is that do is a verb and they're just making it into a noun. So, so we have something is written. But we so nanika kaite aru ka or kaite arimasu ka, which is is something written or something is written. But we don't. So this is the question: Is something is written? Do you know. So what is written with a question mark? Kiteru no. 
which is like to ask. So all together, this kind of means like, oh, no pokun. Uh, are you asking what is written in the book? Or are you curious what's written in here? Is kind of what when you bring it all together. It, it's a it's a pretty complex um sentence. So it makes sense what you're struggling a bit. I think embedded questions is like Genki 2 or something deep in there somewhere. He didn't know. Kind of gives off a more like, are you interested in what's written in here than a. So now we're going to have a sitsume about what's written in that book. Um, Stephen, on guys, she must. Yonzora ni hikaru o hoshi sama wa su. Uh, I've heard that uh, the stars on the stars in the night sky is very far away. Mm, hi, hi, hi. So listen, this is not an incorrect translation of what this says, but in the context, the quoting of this is quoting from the book. So the book says, or it says, would be more accurate in the context, but it, that te can be hearsay if it's not specifically mentioned. Because Nopukun was like, ah, kono hon, nani ga iru no kana? He kind of asked with his eyes, and Akun was like, oh, are you wondering what's inside of my book? Well, this book has says, says stuff like this. So the te is referring to the book rather than something he hears in general. Uh, but yeah, the grammar wise, that was perfect. That was just a context clue. And um, Hikaru is just the shining stars, which um, would be kind of awkwardly put in English. You'd have to really word that in a way that makes it does not sound super wordly. So it's a might be smart to drop it like you did. Uh, next is, um, I think I want Celine to try this one. Oh, and then it becomes something else when you add that line. Uh, oh. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Rocket, this net. Rocket, yeah. He go key. Not the mo. Zuto Tadori. The canai. Good I. The canai. Good I. No. Talk that. So let's start with um, this and let's take off the this part. Rockets and planes. Hi. Minota. Uh, line over. <laughs> mm. So, kono noru wa kono noru desu ne. Ni noru. Which would mean to ride on desu ne. Mm -hmm. So, riding on roketto to hikoshi desu ne. What is the temo add to this sentence? Temo. N? N? Yeah, yeah means N. 
Oh, yes, and. Hi. It's a kind of n. So toka also means and. Uh, so it, it's, it's a kind of and that has a more sai meaning. If you know sai, you probably don't know it. It's, I think that's a really complicated word, but it's less complicated than tomo. Um, it's kind of like a and in an even kind of way. <laughs> like um, this is an example of something. Like we have the rocket and the bullshit. So like even if you rode, rode on the planes or rockets, it's kind of what that is. Like even if, like stand and like a, I think of it as like an and because it can be. It's like it doesn't have to be noted. It's like a hypothetical list, and this is like one example out of that list. Like um, you can also. It, it's also kind of like a hashiru demo like the like it doesn't matter totally what's in front of it that's just one of the examples but i just realized that that actually sounds really confusing in this context so it's mostly the even meaning in this context <laughs> so it's like demo hi it, it, it is it is the exact same thing as demo it's te right here because of the verb so um if if the verb ends with like a da rather than a ta <laughs> i might be wrong uh so just some verbs get the demo, oh, okay. demo. or maybe it's like the nouns get the like have <laughs> demo oh wait so so verbs get demo and i think nouns get demo <laughs> that 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 might be the difference uh oh, so verbs getting demo i think so because te form this now no, but unless it's like non de, because non de has a de, that'd be demo then, because non demo. You wouldn't say no, non te, because the te form, it's it just te form plus no, mo. I mean, te, te form plus mo. So whatever te form is. And it, then it just kind of looks like demo because of that happen sense. They're like, oh, wow, how'd that happen? Is a. Uh, it's like a coincidence that it looks like demo, basic, like the end of the sentence demo, like demo ne doshite, like that kind of demo. It's just like a coincidence. It looks like that because it's te form plus mo. Uh, anyway, so we have even if we ride a plane or get on a rocket, we're talking about toku wa etto zuto tadori tsukenai gorai no. Uh, and we're talking about the ohoshi sama, <laughs> the ohoshi sama no toku gurai. Uh, to means very far. Mm, hi, hi. Uh, gurai means about. Hi, 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 hi. Uh. <laughs> you know tadori? Ta -ta tadori. I don't know. Boop, 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 boop. Hi. So tadori tuita is actually the word. <laughs> um, so this right here, tadori tuita, which means to arrive at. And we have tadori tsukenai. How does that change to arrive at? What does it mean now? <laughs> That's not the right. Hi, zuto. This name. Zuto to not arrive. I don't know how to spell arrive. I got lost there. <laughs> so we have the toku is how how far is it? It's ohoshi sama wa. They're they're so far away that even if you note on a hikoki or even a rocket, you won't uh, arrive this ne zuto. Which is like in this case it means never. Like a lot of times it means like always, but in this case it is the exact opposite of never. So altogether, Celine, what does this mean? So uh, even if you ride on the rocket and plane. Mm. Uh, you won't reach 
to the place where it's very far away. Hi, hi. And what is the place that they're reaching? Uh, go up like this. We got a context. The uh, stars? Hi. Because this last sentence was um, the stars in the night sky are super duper far away, you know, so far away, in fact, that if you rode on like a rocket or an airplane, like even if you rode on one of those, you won't ever arrive. It's that far away. You just you won't make it. You can't hit stars. Hmm. Um, and part of this is that um, Hoshi means star kind of, but it does not mean the sun. You cannot use Hoshi to mean sun. So like in English, this is a little bit incorrect because theoretically we could take a rocket and hit the sun and we we die. Like that is kanosegaru uh, desne. But in Japanese, that kanose does not exist because the ohoshi sama does not count for um the sun. It also doesn't count for the moon. The moon moon does not get ohoshi sama. Um, but like Pokemon, like the sekai in Pokemon, that's an ohoshi. But that's not a star, right? It's a planet. Because Hoshi doesn't necessarily mean star. It's kind of like place, it's kind of like space stuff. That's not our space stuff. That's kind of what it means. So that's sparkly space stuff up there. We can't hit it no matter how hard we try. And now it's gonna be Kiba's kun turn. Kiba kun's turn. Yeah. <laughs> Dore Dore Gurai Toku Toku Noko Toka Toku Noko Toka Nopokun Niwa Wakarukana. Now we have another rhetorical question right here. Dore Gurai. How far is So it's kind of like, do you understand no kun how far away that is? So no, so far away that even if you rode on an airplane or even a, a spaceship, you just won't reach it. That's how far. Do you understand that, no kun? And who's our new player? Then then Kata. Yeah, he he's my he's my Hi, friend. Uh, do you want to try the next Bro, line? He's on. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Can you hear me? Hi, Kikoide. Hi, Arigato Gaimas. Honto no Hoshi wa motto motto okin des okin da yo. Hello. Hi. I read already. Can you hear me? No? Hi, yes, I can yeah. hear you. Hi. So, okay, I'll repeat once more. Okay. Honto no Hoshi wa motto motto oki in dayo. So, oh, should I say the meaning? Hi. Yeah, translate. If you understand it, you say the meaning. And if you have any questions, yeah. you can ask me. So, it says uh, uh, Hoshi is uh, very, very big. Mm, so listen. It, that is the sum of what it's saying. It, do you ha know how it's a little bit more what it's saying? Like the moto moto and the honto. Like what is that kind of like referring to? Like. It means the real whatever the I mean star or hi. maybe planet. Hi, hi. So it doesn't seem what we look. It, it is really very, very big. Hi. Great. That is perfect. The that is it. 
So the real stars are actually super, super big. Because, yes. you know, if you look over here, they look so tiny. Mijikai. Demo honto wa oki. Hi, hi, hi. And Nopokun's like so interested in that. Waku waru. Waku waku. And um, it's Steven's turn. お願いします。お星様のこと元々研究することにしました。I guess uh, Nopo Kun originally wanted to research on the stars. So you're confusing this moto, this moto with moto. Uh, he, he wants to know more about the sun, uh, the stars. <laughs> That's it. He just wants to know more and more about the stars. He wants to do a lot of research. He's very interested in it. もっともっと研究したいの。And、um、Celine、お願いします。星まで日回りの種は何こう並ぶ並ぶのかな。このこと並ぶはこれ。The uh, sunflower seeds. What do you think narabu means? Just just that part. Narabu, Celine. Um, I don't know. No idea. What do you think? What is Nopungun doing right in this picture? We got these Himawari no Tane, and they're all, they're not all bunched up, right? They're not boop, boop. Instead, he went boop, boop. Uh, they are facing in lines. <laughs> they're in lines. So narabu can mean to line up something. So, so if you, if, so this is like a wonder. So I wonder if um, you took this himawari no tane and you line them up, you narambun them. Nanko aru kana? Nanko aru kana? When you go hoshi made. Oh, so it means like, uh, how many of the sunflower seeds uh, to reach to the stars. So this man, hi, hi. How many sunflower seeds would it take for you to, if you stretch them all out, that would take to reach the stars? Hi, hi. Perfect. And Kiba, onigaishimasu. Hi. Himawari no First, you said hane. Himawari no hane. Yeah. You're saying hane. Uh, and hane looks like a net looks like this. But hana, we hana, have, hana, hana, hana. Hi, hana. Hana. Hi, hi, hi. Himawari no hana wa oshi ma made kodo ku rai kodo. I'm sorry, just like, why would no one think of an ass this way? No pokin doshte. Uh, do you remember what Todoku meant? We heard it earlier when we we're talking about Obento and Akun's papa. Uh, todoku. Arakun, papa made bento todoku kurenai no? Deliver? Hi. So in this case, we're not delivering something. So what happens 
what do you need to do in order to deliver something to someone? Uh, you have to go there. Hi. So, todoku in this case means to go there, to reach the location. Hi. Okay. Uh, sorry, I, I don't know. Hmm. We got a. It's oh, sorry. So we have a himawari no hana. Sunflower. Which is kind of like kore no biteiru. Ito so shite todoku wa koko. Uh, how many uh, seeds? Hana. So the, the last flower, flower. So it What is the takasa of a himawari no tane? I mean a hima no himawari no hana. <laughs> what is the takasa of a himawari no hana? Takasa. Yeah, takasa. I don't know. So, do you know what takai means? Takai. Yeah, it's expensive. It can mean expensive, but takai can also mean um, tall. And when it when yeah. we turn it into a noun, takasa, that can mean height in Japanese. So, what is the height of a sunflower? What What is the height of a sunflower? Five feet. Nopu-kun does not know this. So he's wondering, uh, if he can reach sun, uh, uh, he is thinking that uh, how much, how many flowers? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. You're thinking he's too smart, is there issue? You're thinking Nopokun is super smart. So Nopokun, this question is, is like, huh? I wonder if Himavari flowers are so tall that they can reach the stars, right? They're, they're so tall, you know, they, they, they just gotta be touching the stars, right? Like that, they, to the extent of reaching the star, the Himawari flower stretches that far, it, it reaches that height. So you're like, that can't be what it means. Like he's not that stupid, but yes, no pokun, chotto. We, we were told it's so takai, demo no pokun wa wakaranai. <laughs> He's thinking, huh? Yeah. I guess it's, uh, um, <laughs> it's the it's a height of a sunflower. So it was a good guess based off of context, but you thought Nopukun was too smart. Yeah. Okay. Korea Abunaizo. Oh my, this is dangerous, you know. And um then kata. His name is Akil. Okay. Akil. Akil. Yeah. Yeah. Can I continue? Hi. Se no takai. Ochi chan nara. Oshi wo te de sabatta koto aru no kana. Se no takai. This is a very similar mm -hmm. sentence to the last one we saw about Himawari no hana no taka sa. Yes. Se no takai oji chan nara hoshi o te de. Oh, means uh, I think uh, the, high, the height is similar to oji chan. Mm -hmm. So he can, he, can, he can plug the flower with his hand. Basically, hi, hi, hi. Yes, so Seno Takai is kind of, Seno Takai Oji-san is grandpa who's at this height 
Yes. If, if it's grandpa who's this high, then can he touch stars with his hands? Has he had that yeah. experience? So, what the koto ga arimasu ka? So, I don't know. Yes, arimasu ka. So, I wonder if grandpa's ever touched the stars before with his hands, considering how tall he is. Yes. Hi, hi, hi. And, um, Celine, on the guys, Shimas. I don't know what's kan guy. Ah, but do you know what waka waka means? Waka waka. It's kind of similar to doki doki. Do you know what doki doki means? Doki doki suru. Watashi no kokoro. Doki Doki excited. Hi. So Doki Doki is a more romantic version of excited. Well, Waku Waku just has that excited meaning in it. So Waku Waku is like Doki Doki without the love. So that's the exciting. So Kangairu is very similar to Omo in English. Uh, like uh, for us, we have one word which is to think. For omo, this ne. We have that one word in English, but in Japanese, that's split up into two different words of omo and kangairu. So, kangairu is more of like using your brain to think up stuff, while omo is more of like what you are currently thinking at the time. If that makes any sense. So, like, this is more like using your brain, and this is more what your brain is currently doing. <laughs> that makes any sense. Like, uh, for example, you could like use omo, like omoide, for example. Omoide means memories. You can't kangaide because, you know, memories are a thing that it just is. You can't think up memories. <laughs> but yeah, kangaide ka is just thinking. But like the act of using your brain to think. New thoughts. So this is like a tarishi koto kangaide. Okay, so he's excited for thinking. Are right. these questions? All this, ne? All these questions about what? Reaching the stars. <laughs> All this, ne? All about the stars and reaching them and how far they are. So, waku waku shite. Hi, 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 hi. And next one is going to be Steven. It's a little hard to, ah, to get it all on the screen, but this is probably one sentence. Hi, onegaishimasu. Because there's a lot of things that he don't understand. Hi. That's why it looks amazing. So this ne. Hi 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 hi. Uh it's like the ability to see amazing and super wonderful things is because there's so many things I don't understand. So it's kind of like saying like um, thing, the, the mysterious of things make them sparkle, I guess. <laughs> the, 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 when you don't understand it. 
And um, we all know whose turn it is now. Can you do me a favor and like type real quick in the chat what your name is? Because I need like a visual for what I should call you. I can't, I, I hear it and then it gets like, it's out of my brain. Who's wrong? Uh, me? Hi. Hey, also, uh, sorry, uh, you can call me Akir. Akir? Ak in Japanese, Akir. <laughs> Akiru, Akiru, hi. Yeah, normal name is Akil. A K H I L. Yeah, Akiru is fine. Yeah, on the go, Akiru kun. Ah, okay. Okay, so. Noppo kun wa hitori de Yamani aru ichiban takai ki ni noboru koto ni shita yo. So, uh, Nobukun, Nobukun, El only. Mm. He wants to, he wants to uh, climb the uh, tallest tree on the uh, tallest mountain. No, no, tallest tree on the mountain. Hi, hi, hi. So, yeah. hitori de. Okay. Yes. So you are tallest tree on the mountain. Hi. So hitori de can mean alone in Japanese, mm. but in this context. It's less, it's it's more what exactly it's saying and not like uh, insinuating. Hitori de. Hitotsu hito. Hitotsu hito, yes. So, so uh, by himself is more. By himself. Okay, okay. Yes, 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 sorry. <laughs> and the okay. other part was noboru koto ni shita. The, this is a past tense, this ne. So it's not a tsumori. It's the shimashita. He was like, ah, watashi wa kore wo shimashita. Mo owaru. So he's already uh, climbed that mountain and, cl and climbed the tallest tree. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and um, Kiba, onegai shimas. I think I skipped Kiba's here now. Don't shit them all. Oh, she some are me. Some are You can see the sun clearly. Let's break it off. What do you think? What so what that means? So what? Uh, so what the mean? Uh, Clearly. Uh, it means to touch. Oh, okay. Hi, hi, hi. Doshtemo o hoshi sama ni sawatte mitai kara yama ni aru ichiban takai ki ni noboru koto ni shimashita. I was thinking that what happened if. He touched the sun. Hello. Oh, hi. What? <laughs> it's kind of hard to uh, hear you. <laughs> did, hello. Yeah. Oh, hi. yeah. Does it mean like, uh, oh, what happens if he touches the sun? So the the ohoshi sama rather meaning sun, it means things like stars except for the sun. So the sun is actually the one thing that that's the one incorrect star. It's all stars except for the sun. It's stars. Oh. But yeah. not the sun. <laughs> uh, so, mitai uh, means to try to do, he, like, that's what he wants. Like, this is why he's um, doing it. So, he wants to touch the um, stars. And doshitemo is um, like any way or anyhow, kind of like, he just really, really wants this, like, to the extent that he's going to climb the tallest tree in the forest and the mountain 
because you know Nopokun doesn't really look athletic. So, yoisho, yoisho, yoisho. So those are those heave ho kind of noises, but he's climbing. Aredes, which is up. It's that thing. That's the tallest tree on the mountain. Yes, sir. Hi, hi, hi. Eh. And Celine, want to go to Mas? It's no, it's no mani, cano, no bokun wa ki, ki no te, no te ben ni ita yo. Do you know what Itsunomani means? We discussed it like a couple of months ago. Itsunomani. Itsu means when? Hi. When the... Do you know what Ida kind of means? The ma? Somehow. Hmm. I'm not sure where that came from. Uh, but uh, came from. It's kind of like the knee in a way, kind of makes that meaning. But the ma is kind of like a placeholder word that kind of refers to like an amount of something. So itsu is like a time word. So some amount of time, that's itsu. So a lot of times like itsu, when shall I go somewhere? Like when? So it's like some amount of time is itsu, but the ma kind of adds the some amount of. So some amount of time, itsu no mani, which is kind of like, we don't really know how long it took Nopokun to um, eat the <laughs> on the tip end of the key, but um, uh, it was it's no money, which is like at some point, <laughs> it's no money cut makes it a, rhet a rhetorical time question. So, like, at some point, I don't know when, but eventually. Mm. Eventually, <laughs> no book. has reached the highest point of the tree. Right. Perfect. Nice. Tippen means the highest point of the tree. Did you guess that by context? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. That's the way to do it. Um, and Akiru kun, on guys from us. So, the mo, yapari, hoshima de todokanai. Oh, kawiso. Even if. So, the yapari. So. Even though Hi. we can't reach Hoshi. Mm. So, sorry, demo. Uh, you kind of missed us when we were doing the Temo explanations before. It kind of means like, even if. So, even if, sorry. Even if. So, even if yes. you did that thing, which was the ki no teppe ni ita, or the noburu koto of the ki, yes. is uh, what that sorry is referring to. So, even if you... Climb that tree. Yabari Hoshimare Totokanai. Yes. <laughs> so what does the Hoshimade Totokanai mean? Hoshimade Totokanai. So we can't reach Hoshima. Hi, hi. Yes. So yeah. Perfect. Yep. So as expected, you really can't reach the star, even if you climb on top of a tree and reach out as hard as you can. Yeah. 
それは無理でしょあー、落ちるあ、怒ってる !He's going to fall! あー、ポップコーンおの、死んじゃった。やれやれおまい !And, um, キーバー、お願いします。はい。あの、の、ポコンが、かげ、け、けがとは、はい、けがとは、あ、めずらい、めずらしい。はい、いいな。めずらしい。あの、ポンが、けがと、You can delete the toll if it's confusing you. It's not really needed. It's just flavor text. Uh, sorry, I don't know the meaning. Hi, do you know what it i means? Yeah, it's it's pain. Pain. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah, it's pain. Hi, hi, hi. And Nopo kun wa ito ichiban takai ki kara ochita desne. So ste, so rewa totemo itai so na. So no liu na no de kega garu. He gets a kega. You wouldn't say kega ga do though. You, you, there's a different、uh, verb that goes with kega. But so, what, what do you think kega means then? If you know it has to do with itai and it's something you get when you. Atama?、Uh, atama? Head? No, that's the basho、okay. where he probably fought, got a kega. But kega is actually an injury. Injury, okay. So, the thing that is causing the. Pain, I guess. Ko, this net, what about no? Mezura, she mean? Mezura, she was hen. Hen na koto. Hen na. Ito, itu no. Ah, futu wanai. You know what futu means? Tu. Tu. Ah, that's that's futatu. <laughs> <laughs> Futsu does sound like a lot like that.、Um, uh, there's, there's so many words like Futsu, but I think Futsu is the, the most normal one because Futsu and Futsu means normal. The like the Nichi Jo. That's, that's like daily life.、Uh, so Futsu is normal and Mezurashi is the Gyaku. It's the opposite of normal. So what does、normal. Mezurashi mean then? Abnormal. Hi. So, so it's very strange. You don't normally see this, mezurashi, which is something you don't normally see.、Okay. Yeah. All together, what does that say? No. 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 Mm. Hi. So theoretically, that is correct. The to in this case gives you more of like an understanding that as for no kun, it's kind of like, wow, no kun getting like an injury? That's really weird. Like ham t a r o Ham t a r o he's such a brown bad ham. Mizurashkunai no, so kego no wa. But no pukun, he's a bookworm, he stays at home. Kore wa mezurashi. Wow. What is yeah. That, that's kind of what the toll is like. It's like as for no kun, kind of like the for no kun kega at all, any kind of kega is mezurashi.、Um, and、um, Steven, what do you guys do? So, Shibanaku wa otona. おとなしくするんじゃな
please stay put for a while. はいはいはい。そうですね。ドゥドゥドゥ Our last page, just in time. And、um, Celine, what do you think about it? No, but good. Oh, 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 のぽくんは落ちた。けががある。ドロップ。ドロップ。はい。そうですね。ドロップですね。ドロップ。ドロップ。ドロップ。ドロップ。ドロップ。ドロップ。ドロップ。ドロップ。ドロップ。ドロップ。ドロップ。ドロップ。ドロップ。ドロップ。ドロップ。ドロップ。ドロップ。ドロップ。And we have、uh, over here, Genki ni natte, which is become better because I gave you these sunflower seeds. And、um, Stephen, what do you guys want to do? Iko de nene shite hayaku Genki ni. なるのだ。Be a good child and quickly sleep, and you get well soon. そうですね。はいはいはい。I'm not sure whether you say ねん for in the <laughs> ねんねして、but it's basically like ねんね。Go sleep. ねんねんねんねん。Um and um. あキーバーお願いします。どこどこにある星は素敵なものに見えるけどある星。Ah, sorry. So, Kuni, a far away、はい、country. So, Kuni, Aru, Pashova.、Uh, Before you do that,、yeah. what is this character red? You said, Maeru. Me, 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 It's not the tayo or the he. Uh, or she, uh, star? Hi, hi, hi. Hoshi means star. And you were right that toku meant far away. So, toku ni aru hoshi. What is that? Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, the stars which are、uh, present very far away. So, this is it. Hi, hi. Me, it is. The key now, mono, me, me, you can see. Hi. The key now. Mono. Beautiful.、Mm. So this ne. Beautiful thing. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. And do you know what kedo means?、Uh, even hi. though. Hi, hi. So even though you can see that、um, the faraway stars are beautiful things. Then we have this、yeah. next step, which、um, I'm splitting up into smaller parts. <laughs> Very big.、Yeah. Um, Akiri kun, kore, o n e g a i s h i m a s So, Soba ni Arumono mo, Motto Suteki de Taisetsuna mono dato. 
So, sobo ni aru mono mo. Sobo, sobo means, sorry. <laughs> you know what chikai means? Yeah, yeah. Koto yes. ni koru. So it's something close by. Hi, chikai. Sobo. So it's the opposite of chikai? Uh, no, onaji imi. Ah, onaji. Oh, okay, okay. So, chikai ni aru mono mo. Motto suteki. And suteki means? Suteki <laughs> na. It's kind of like a wonderful normally. Suteki. Ah. So, ah, okay. I know I understand. So, even the nearby things are mm -hmm. very important. So, this ne. Hi, hi. Yes. So, we have hoshis are suteki. Now we got soba no mono wa suteki. So, we got toku and chisai. I mean, chikai. <laughs> Chikai and toku, uh, mm -hmm. The way how sobu is different, so soba, soba is different, uh, is that chikai can be like, like a progressive thing. Like you get closer to something, you can use chikai. But soba is only close to, has to be close to as like the existence. Like it's a, like the noun version of it. What, what we can reach. Yes. Hi. Okay. That would be a good way. In nearby. In, nearby. What you can reach. And this part is going to be Selene. Want to go to us? Makuno ken ken kyu reboto ni reboto ni wa kaite arimashita. Hi. No book research. Report. Oh, report. Uh, report. Hi. Uh, is written inside the Hi. And the thing that is written inside is connected with this to. So, toku ni aru hoshi wa suteki na mono ni mieru kedo, sobu ni aru mono mo motto suteki de taisetsu na mono da. Which altogether oh. is, even though you can, the faraway stars are such beautiful and wonderful things. The things close by are even more beautiful in their preciousness, which is has to do with how Nobukun got hurt and his whole kazuku, his ham hamzu are all like, ah, iiko ne, agiru yo, kono mono genki ni naru no? Like this whole like, like it's kind of like how they say like the journey matters more than destination. But in this case, the people nearby is what's more important than the stars that are beautiful far. That's what he wrote in his little Kinkyu Ripoto. Hi. Arimashita. He wrote it. Nice report. Yes. Hi. Nice notebook. And next week we'll be reading about Sakam, Netirukun no koto. And that's where we're going to stop for now. And...